Welcome to Sniper Side 5 Shot Friday. This week and going into next week, I'm going to be away doing some training. So in light of that, I'm going to add some training videos so you guys can watch some free lessons from the online training lessons. So hope you enjoy the lesson. Okay, welcome to Sniper Side online training video. This is going to be part two of the ballistic software. And here we're going to look at our 260 Remington with the 136 grain CNR, the information we gathered on the range, as well as the dope we gathered on the range. And we're going to compare that to JBM, the Applied Ballistics Calculator Online. As well, we're going to go through how to set up your Kestrel unit. So we'll take care of the Kestrel and that software, and we're going to look at it. So the first thing we're going to look at is JBM free software. Now the big thing is this is not in the library so you have to manually fill it out. If you have none there you fill that out. If you pull from the library this will get overwritten by what's in the library. We're using G1, 545, 136, 264, 2884 for the magneto speed and as well as the uh, lab radar I'm doing only a half a foot for the distance to the chronograph. Uh, 2.25, zero out all the rest of this. Wind speed, I'm doing seven. Target speed zeroed out. Minimum range 200, maximum 1000 just for this. Our conditions are down here, uh, 68 degrees, 25, 23, which is absolute. Zero the altitude and pressure is corrected is unchecked. That's how that should look for my conditions here. Mill, MOA. So now I'll go down and calculate that information and we'll pull up what we have. So let's take a look. 200 yards, 0 0.3, 0 0.3. 300 yards, 0 0.9, 0 0.9. 400 yards, 1.6, 1.6. 500 yards, 2.4. 2.5, so we're a tenth off at 500. 6, 3.2, 3.4, 2 tenths off at 600. 7, 4.1, 4.1, 8, 5.1, 5.2, 1 tenth off. 900, 6.2, 6.3, 1 tenth off, 1,000, 7.4, 7.4, we're right on. I'm going to call this good. I had good information in. I have good information to back it up. That 600 yard could be because the target is behind the berm and back by the rack. So it's probably 10 yards behind. So that could account for that variation. But we're 0.72 uh, times 6 off for our deviation. It's really going to get us a hit. It's less than an M away. And the rest of them are within a tenth. Uh, here and there, a little variation. Uh, a lot of things can account for those small variations. But this is pretty close to dead on. So now let's take a look at our applied ballistics calculator. Same thing, it's free. It's on their website. They have the bullet in the library, G7. It fills in all the information there. Then... We go our velocity, zero range. I'm going to change this to from mix to English so it's yards, 100 yards, sight height, all that. Now for this one, I have everything filled out in here. And I have everything filled out here for our conditions. Calculate, and this takes a little longer to calculate. And pull it up with what we have. So we have for our elevation 0 0.4, 0 0.3, it's off 1, 9, off a tenth, 1 1.6, 1 1.6 is on, 2.4, 2.5, tenth off, 3.2, 3, 3.4, 4, 4.1, 4, 4.1, 1, 4, 1, 6, 6.1, 1, 6.3, 6, or 6.2 and 6.3, 5.1, 5, 5 and then 7.3.9, which is close to 7.4. Now, just as an experiment, I put this in with nothing over here, so we don't have any of our latitude and longitude. Let me 
make sure we're good with the English and mixed our yards but everything else is filled out and what we'll notice is not putting in the information a little less on the elevation 7.31 versus 7.39 so it just deviates a little bit we also go back to point uh, 9 instead of 1 so it brings it back in line at 300 as well 4 still a little overdoing it and they're at about a tenth off but it's pretty darn close the key to this is that it's solid information is being put into the computer. I went out and I shot this ahead of time, so I know what I'm going to do. I come back at my leisure, I can go to any one of these programs for free, and I know I have good information. So all our particulars are up here, so we can double check our, our math, and our answers are down here. You can um, highlight it, copy it, laminate, whatever you have to do. Also, when I go to uh, competitions, I include the danger space so it tells me when I'm doing unknown distance target where my error factor is. Uh, for the example here, I have about uh, 13 on each side, so 26 yards of variation out of 1,000 yards I could be off. So that's where these ballistically superior uh, cartridges come into play. Unknown distance target. If I have a, anywhere within that 26 yard variation, I'm still going to hit the target. So that's where I use that, and that's what demonstrates your simplistic, ballistically superior cartridge, as well as the wind. The wind will also um, be better is what the elevation, but that's that factor. So it really does matter when you're using a better bullet because it's right here.